I'm really happy because I'm here with Hard, oh, hard of Sky. I'm here with. <laughs> I'm here with other YouTubers. Got Heart of Sky. I got Vagrant. Then I have another council member. I got Ra uh, Radium with me. He's going to make me look good, right? Oh. Oh, darn it. I'm having enough trouble making myself look good for shit. <laughs> we got this! Alright, so, okay, Arrow tells me to go down. Whoa. Alright. Which way do we go, George? I was in immediately. Oh, tracks go. So these are the dredges. I've heard a lot about them. So far, I'm having fun. So far, I hate this voice chat. <laughs> yeah. I will put that in my the notes. The thing it does is really weird. I don't mind it on PS4. You know, plug the shit in and go, you're good. It's really sucks. Settings and oh, what the uh, hell? The other tank jump past uh, everybody went for me. Yeah, we pulled the extra, uh, the next party, so I thought I grabbed them all. Squishy DPS. Gonna ask her. I gotta turn a couple people up. <laughs> okay. I can't get I feel like I'm at all. Constantly, constantly adjusting the volume. <laughs> That's what we spent 20 minutes doing. <laughs> all right, hold on. Let's go ahead and adjust volumes. <laughs> okay, we got a weapon. It is a bow. Who wants a bow? Uh, as much as I do miss bow. I don't want to do it. Don't be too excited now. <laughs> hey, bow is well, great for tanking. Well, see it is great for tanking. See what it gives. I mean, it's, see what the, the... Wait, somebody pick it up and... I'll pick it up. I can always drop it off. Okay. I was going to say, let's see what the... What it gives you. Look at him! Open your inventory. Open... Open your inventory. You mean my current okay. effects? <laughs> no, open your inventory and hover uh, over it. Oh my god, you're so big. Thank you. What's when hitting good? any basic attack, a roll basic, a roll specific effect will happen. Tank and DPS rolls create a sphere at the target that damages and causes pushback on targets within the sphere. While controller and heal rolls heal up to four group members. Wow. Nice. Give it. You should decide who gets it. Give it. I miss bow. I, I need to go back to bow tanking. But you're a tank. I, l I miss oh, bow tanking. Ah, that's why I use on fire. I miss it so much.
Oh, that's right. You have to you have to drop it off up there. Is it actually back over there, or does I have to go back up? There it is. There it is. Right yeah, here. it's back over here. Okay, I'm coming. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, Trex is gonna look nice. I'm really pleased with what they've put together for this DLC. Mm. I eat my Wheaties. Big and early. Pepper's gone. <laughs> oh, that pepper. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Someone's a porker. Hey, let's watch how well Link Death worked. Oh, I'm sorry. Cypher DC. I just saw that. I'm sorry. Fail. Very. The Cypher knows me, so it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I feel so big. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm going I'm going old school. There's too much going on for me to regular <laughs> Did not like that little thing he did. Oh. Dang, you know, these the hell is a lot harder than before. I don't remember these being so difficult. This is the boss. Is it? What's the artifact? This, I think this is the boss. Oh, there is an artifact. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is. Away from the artifact. <laughs> it's something mental. It's uh, splashing purple. Aiden, I don't think your voice checks on. I don't see a mic by you either. There is no microphone by you. And he's dead. see the dredge back here. Oh, he went to the artifact. That's going to be bad news. <laughs> I miss my Wheaties. I think that effect is him being close to the artifact. Let's see. <laughs> you mean the skull over there? Put a, there's like a board set. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll move over here. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, the, the basic mechanic of these fights is always to keep them away from the artifact. Uh, hey, get back over here, Chuckles. Come on, buddy. Oof. No, I tried getting it. I think it's a damage reduction. No, he's far enough away from it and he still has the shield on him. Oh, they burns that. Ouch. You're supposed to stop, stop watching Trex's streaming and play the game. <laughs> Darn it! What? <laughs> Bob pick up you pick up a rock instead of me? What kind of loyalty is this?
That's all I'm in. I'm only 92 yes. years. Is it a vortex thing? Watch that. No more bow for Bob. <laughs> uh, block bug. Hey, Trek, just work over there if you want to pick it up. Though. Oh, no, it's already been ninjaed. <laughs> oh, I wanted to see that attack. <laughs> I have an interesting faster. thing is, I went from a striker oh. body to a brute body. Look at that! You baller. Yeah, when you pick up that weapon, it does increase your body size. No, but I, I, I'm a brute now, I'm not a striker. Oh! Yeah, that's oh, <laughs> oh, hey, that, Vortex. that was an interesting little vortex. Well, apparently I wasn't meant to have the weapon. Nobody is. Not today. You're picking up that thing of death. <laughs> <laughs> that. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Shit. I ain't even touching that on live anymore. It's like, note to self, do not touch the yellow. Yellow what? The artifact, it's yellow. Or is it more of an off orange? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Three. Okay. Where does that? Where did, what is that? I think he. I think he like, targets. He just does it. And, like kill someone. No. Uh, okay. Does anyone have electric sparkles right there. around them? Yellow electric sparkles. I um, I see it on grid. <laughs> So the uh, the artifact just went nuts. The fine nuts. Before in another raid, and I can't figure out what it is. Oh, the yellow sparkles are bad. Not electricity affected. No, no, I, I know my electric effects, and that's just not it. But I saw it also in um, a oh, uh, crap, TD crap. online. Oh. Charges the safety net one too. So there's some dual wheels on the ground. Hang on, I gotta let me switch my gear. Now I am a dual wielder. Dual wheels. Let's pick them up and see what they are. What's the damn trinket? It not. Let's see. Hitting an enemy it's increases the crit it. hit chance or crit damage of dual wield melee attacks for four seconds. Okay, I feel like anyone can wear them then. Go get them, tracks. Yeah, increase my crit chance as a tank. <laughs> all right, so we're all good. Uh, it looks like you got fury marked, but you're at the max, and so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Radium got loot. Ooh, did I get loot? I did not get loot. I don't see loot. Nobody else really got I got a, I got, I got oh, an I FP6 got and free fury. What was my loot? I got, I got four the fury and low light and an FP6. I received three marks of fury. <laughs> wow. Well. Big bastards. Shit. <laughs> Alright. Let's go take these out. Eat sandwich, damn. Oh my god, they look so awesome. I do not know what that sparkly animation is. Uh, see, yeah. yeah. Here it is again. Give it with you running, though. I mean... No, the biocharge looks the exact same as the... Charged is different. Yeah, that's. It looks like the cooldown for a CC trinket. Well, I guess I'll just see the video. I have nothing on my combat log about it whatsoever. Yeah, I saw it in a. Um, I have it in a TD run I've done on live, I think. That's why that's so I saw it. I'm 
So the combos for this dual wheel weapon are not what I'm used to. <laughs> I'm like going into a brawling combo. It's like, where is this coming from? <laughs> Yeah, I went to an. I went to use a bow. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, that's right. No, with my dual, I'm dual wheel on my main. What's going on here? I'm not able to use hand blasters. The combos are weird. Oh, that's right. I'm one hand. <laughs> Tee <-hee. laughs> No wonder I don't know what I'm doing. Why did I choose this weapon? Second that. <laughs> I am sorry. I will stop throwing up on you. Well, even that, like, all I see right now is Michael Grid's fat ass. I love you, Grid. Maybe the other way around. He also body blocks everything I do. <laughs> We've been a lunging. Really want to know what that effect is. Hang on. Wait a minute. Isn't doesn't the bow weapon give off a heal? Only if you're in healer role. Oh. Because I'm thinking. I'm thinking that yellow charge you're seeing is probably the healing effect coming from that bow. Alright, here's the boss. No, I don't have it. Don't do so. Okay. I wonder if they like intentionally made all the bosses here where you can't give them a nickname. <laughs> That's true. Alright, everybody in? I hope so. <laughs> okay, there's something that you're doing. But... Oh yeah, the artifact's back here. That hurt. Oh, they didn't. So that's the ice here in the back. What's weird is that animation I've seen Alright, he's walking to the artifact. Uh, somebody gave him immunity. I'm not oh I'm God. not giving names, but it might have been me. Okay, when we're fighting a boss, I'm having a hell of a time zooming in and zooming out. Ooh. I'm zoomed all the way out right now. And it does seem closer yeah, than that. The, the rooms are just really small. Can anyone fly? <laughs> I'm super speed. Good man. Oh. Lunch. Taking him not near this artifact right here. <laughs> not 
Did it move? Dang it. Got it. Oh, looky there. People are up. <laughs> I don't feel big and bad anymore. I want it back. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, I'm just joking. I want my one hand. I can get KO if you want. No, no, please, God, no. We'll get more drag. Oh, <laughs> uh, now that's interesting. It's a stun, like a so mass stun. Yeah, it's a room stun. It's his mass attack. But <laughs> hitting an enemy increases crit chance of crit damage for dual wield melee for four seconds. Yeah, this is completely a DPS weapon. Fine, I didn't want it anyways. <laughs> oh dear lord, this guy hits hard. Oh, you got him. Lock it. Come here. It's okay, he's on me. Okay, so I can get screenshots of the effects of both weapons that I've picked up so far. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. I didn't even turn mine on. <laughs> You're streaming, aren't you, though? Yeah. I wish it wasn't right there on my screen. Right? Can I just have it, like, off to the side? I'm feeling very one. claustrophobic. <laughs> I know there should be a yeah. get rid of button like you do in the it's other all, you have to change your form. It's the divorce option in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you have to go give it to the guy. That's the only other way to get rid of it. Once you're in a fight, though, yeah, it's still death to you. Does anyone want this? Because it doesn't really do any good to be on a healer. No, you keep it. Yeah, you. Just go with that. You make <laughs> You eat those peas, young man. <laughs> oh, come on. I see no, yeah. like, discernible mechanic about the artifacts. Like, there seems to be nothing to do with them, except for counter the boss so he can't get off his special. There's nothing really else to do. Oh, okay, I got one of them. That's the other one. Okay, I got an extra fire. Okay, I believe we have to split. There's a warrior over here. Oh, apparently, yes, they are! <laughs> Alright, so apparently you can still target the boss when he's down, too, so I'm not... ...sure how I like that. Is, it, is his health getting back up? <laughs> yeah, his health is regenning, but I can't target him. That's kinda creepy. Right?! Like, all the fear is coming into me right now. 
visibly regenerated. <laughs> <laughs> this is the necropolis. They're coming back to the dead. Like, he is almost back at full. Let's just get the hell out of there. I don't trust that room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love Ionic Rain. So pretty. Have you seen my video on YouTube of it? Oh, yeah. It gates. That was fun. That was really fun. Oh, it. I love Oblivion in gates. Get everybody dead center, just pop oblivion. Oh, yeah. Just watch everybody fall and then get held in the sky. When Remander, Maxwell, and I were running prime, it was it was just so awesome to be able to knock down all the healer drones with the healing power. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it can knock so many things down. Yeah, the fighting it doesn't do damage consistently. I'm not opening a door, someone else open the door. Fine, I'll open the door. Fine. Yeah, I want to walk in there and be okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> yeah, the cool thing about it having two electric healers is we can make sure that every single person in the room is biocharged. Mmm, yeah. It makes me feel like I need to go to the bathroom or something. <laughs> 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 so this is the final room? Not really? I was about to say, this doesn't sound like it. No one hit the first one. <laughs> Come here, boss! <laughs> Got him. So many of them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get overwhelmed by that. It's like survival mode. That's not funny. We need Brittany. <laughs> oh, I think there's a knock later. on the healers. So, I with the the blue. Oh, Palver just jumped. Oh, it's good timing for that. 
the supercharged shield. Oh, our IC artifact is doing something now. Different shield. Oh. Wow, talk to the center. Well, the ads are going down, so great job, though. Oh my god. <laughs> and none of y'all have the weapon anymore. What just happened? <laughs> Good lord. I'm I'm out. This like teleportation mental one is annoying. Ooh. That thing hurts. Okay, what was I standing uh, on? <laughs> I don't even. Okay, there's the boss. I see him. I got some, I got some frame by frame to review when this is done. <laughs> okay, I'll run away. The mental one is killing me. I don't think How many you want to be outs? in the glowing aura. Oh, well, I'm seeing like five or six ads. <laughs> yeah, I think they spawn when you're in the aura. Dude, like, do we need to have the weapons on us? Well, they might also spawn you because of the weapon being there. Wait, am I the only one in here? Go, oh, Strix, yeah. go. <laughs> I don't believe you. I, I don't. Owie. You can't really tell what's going on in the first side boss rooms to really know what the artifact does or how to counter it. Like, everybody I've talked to is countering the first two rooms by just using PvP counter mechanic. So in the final room, when you need to know what the artifacts do, you've never really been shown. I can tell you the first time I did this before it kicked us out, it was very clear what the artifact was doing with that boss, and I haven't seen the artifact since. Um, it's a big, giant red aura, and if the boss gets near it, he just barely takes any damage. And it sends a beam to him, and it, you kind of know. So how many artifacts are there anyway? They got both of Hmm. Okay, so there's four ads, and we have a boss. I, the ads might come from standing near the artifact. Because the four there, I'm, I'm looking at the four there, I'm guessing they're on the ground, dead. I'm concerned about going from a striker to a brute body form when I pick up the weapon. Everybody does. No matter okay. what your body form is, you go to big, brute... Male, okay. female. What did you pick up? I picked up the bow. Who has the dual wheel? Dual wheel is still sitting over there. No DPS wants that dual wheel. Or hard. 
uh, resend that league invite because I just I had them off. I don't know why. Oh, okay. That was like, God, you that rejected so. I had quick. all. <laughs> I had all the settings off actually. All right, so we ready? This, uh, this sparkles here is interesting too. So why it's on the middle obelisk? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, Bob. Try to kite the boss around the room so that you're always standing at an artifact that doesn't have a pulsing aura. I will surely try and l my god, this room is really cr cramped in. Yeah. Okay. I will. In other words, <laughs> in other words, if it looks like an aura is doing something or an artifact, get away from it. Okay. Oh. Yep, run track. Right. I look like I need to go on a diet. I went paleo. What? From steroids. Yes. Nice. That'd be how hard. Bastard. Like the mental aura is up. Don't be by it. They're spinning around the room. I would definitely be in this corner over here. Nope, nope, they're all, all right. doing something. With, yeah, they're all... With the dredges, just walk over to me Probably. so they can get into my area. Unless you can kill them really fast. If you can kill them really fast, kill them really fast. So I see this gold one over here creeping up on me. I got a yeah, warrior cool. over here. They're they're basically just spinning around the room right now. So just keep yeah keep going backwards the way you're going and take them with you as you go. Yeah, come here, buddy. room. They were cutting down on excavation costs. Alright, move clockwise. Yep. Or here. This one here is the smallest. Um, yeah, I'm watching it. I'm like right beside it. <laughs> no, the ice one's down here. Oh, what the heck am I next to? The mental? Fire You're and mental. To... It just talked. Wait, it, it sent a beam to the center pillar. Yeah, cause I was about to say, if it's talking, I, I'll put my voice, my my voice up. I'll turn it up. <laughs> Actually happening. All I see are sparkles. I don't see it actually doing. 
Woo! Oh, there we go. No, that's Cal Max. What are you warming about? That mentals feel like popped up so big right next to me. And I'm just gonna shield. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of damage all of a sudden. Well, you're not trapping me. It just jumped. You Whoa. are in the fire, man. Yeah. Trick second that over here is uh uh me. Okay. I should be able to pick him up. A for a really chain. An anomaly on here. So can I get banned from the forums if I talk about moderation here? <laughs> <laughs> you knew what happened this weekend, right? I think I caught caught some of it because I was in and out in chat. <laughs> Over He's here. Uh -oh. I can ignore it. <laughs> okay, that's uh. Oh, it's, we got one boy right down here. Okay, from the second boss there. Hey, that's the other me. We got everybody though. Oh, Interrupt them. Oh, it's oh, the mechanic crap. from the second boss, except like a lot stronger. Yeah. Crap. Come here over here. Get over here. I feel like they moved a lot faster. So it's really yep, funny when you mechanic. get stunned on the floor in this like artifact yeah. weapon body type. I got like He's doing it again. Oh I ran away. He's in the fire. Ah. He's an ass. Yeah he is. Come on, yeah, buddy, get out of that. Of get out of it, get out of it. <laughs> Come to me. Where are you? I'm, I'm dumping power, but Whew. I'm thinking, of, oh, the artifact will block line of sight, so... Shoot. Oh, that yes. explains so much. Dang it. Oh, take down. I got you. Charge up. I got him, I got him. Okay. Someone got me. Oh, it's not gonna let me get. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Did we get him? Yeah, they. Yeah, those. Yeah, those. Uh, okay. the artifacts are definitely moving a lot faster now. Hold on. Try and recover. And we've, we've been in here quite a long time. Yeah, I think we just did anyway. <laughs> he just one shot the tank army and never kicked in in time. I would love to be able to figure out what the heck is going on in that room. <laughs> well, the Cayenne worked. Uh, I just need to work a little small. faster now. <laughs> It's really slow. The burn is really slow, but we also end up being short on heals and power at times, too. Uh, I play Maiden. Yeah, and yeah, let's play Maiden. I'm down for that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, no, it's line of sight is really what it is. Yeah. We're losing line of sight. We're not getting heals. We're not getting power. Because there was a time, a few times there I had no heal. I wasn't gonna just drop an overwrite, not knowing. Does the troller want bow this time, or...? Or 
Alright, really combos are kind of crappy. I was gonna say, I haven't used O in years. A DPS really should have the dual wield if anybody picks it up. Yeah, Red Dam's up, he's got him. Smash, Trex. Smash. <laughs> no. Does that mean he I have this, like, running after you in real life. Alright, so the slow, uh, the burn was uh, was slow because I also feel that we were also focusing on the ads. I mean, the ads were going down, but of course they just kept getting risen again because of the artifacts rolling around. Uh, so it looks like around fifty percent, the artifacts start moving a lot faster. The artifacts themselves, just in the room, being near the artifacts at all, will res them. So. I mean, there's a short time where they're still gonna stay dead, but it's gonna ha they're gonna wake back up, so that's not it's gonna happen. So you almost have to ignore it. Rage is almost better. The middle, my preference would be that we did not stand anywhere around this, because as we just said, line of sight's an issue. So if Trex is tanking them around the outside and we're trying to move around the middle, it, it didn't go well. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, the kiting did, did work. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing, actually. I wonder if you can stand on top of it and get, get, get a good room on it. Oh, yeah, stay up there and see if you take any damage. No. Well, I guess it is tech <laughs> learned that with Wayfair yeah, last yeah, time. That's exactly the point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, stand up there while this thing, <laughs> if you don't yeah, get you damage. Get that's yeah. like a good thing to test, though, Trax. Yeah. Yeah. So, Grid, I'm actually gonna want you to stay up there for this, for for this. And if you do not take any damage, please let me know so I can write that down so we can make sure we put that as a bug. I got my pen in handy. <laughs> yeah. If we're not the ones that'll find it, the player base will definitely find it. <laughs> Someone will be like, I wonder if I can get underneath the floor. So I can tank the boss from the outside. Trex, did you yeah. rewatch your video? Or who videoed and rewatched? I think Sky is uh, recording it. I'm recording, yeah. I got re I'm recording now too. I'm recording this as well, Trex. <laughs> Yay! I was thinking, did it look like the artifacts? Like went live in a particular order. Like, did they activate no, in a particular order? No, they're random. Yeah. Yeah, they move in a circle, and then any one of them will just make themselves larger at any point in time and suppress the other two. That's the only difference. And you don't know which one they're going to be. You just have to kind of be careful. But he's usually. Yeah. It is. He's actually staying pretty good on the tank, so as long as the tank moves away from the circle, he stays on the tank. It's not like he's being attracted by the artifacts, which is what a lot of people were thinking was going to happen, so... Tell me when to go. I'm ready. Right here. Mental just got big. All of them got big. So did fire. Fire just got big. They all jumped up the same time. But now. Fire is bigger than the other two, though, right now. No, no, I just huge. They're all the same. Mental is the smallest. 
Oh, they are. Now. So uh, two out of the three will be big at the same time. I think so. Oh, and Drake's are at. Yeah, now fire went small, ice is big. And is huge. Mental's, mental's huge, but fire and ice yeah. are both small. So. <laughs> heals up there. Oh. And your ionic train looks pretty awesome. Okay. It oh, does. He's in fire. He is. Come here. There, he's out. What is ticking away at me? He was in the fire by accident. Sorry about that. I'm out. So I wonder if he if he makes it at all. So if he get it out, I guess he gets like a separation. Is this one of those things where he's not supposed to be near any of the drag warriors? No. Like in the first raid? Nah. Got an ad over here, Trax. Alright, I will what do pull you mean him. By in the other raid, he doesn't want to be near any of the Drake warriors. Uh, I, I, no, are the first group are the packs of the pass. He's going to activate those Drake warriors whether he's near them or not. Right, but it's the sheer volume that he's able to activate at any given time uh, by having them spread out. In this case, I think that's less important because the longer the longer we're up, the artifacts are going to kill us, not the drag. That was weird. Cover just jumped. He just yeah, he used mental and jumped I the room. Moved. Did he? I got moved like Shoot. 15 feet in the air. Yeah, it's the mental. They I see him. You. Yeah, that's the one that moved me up into the thing. Yeah, he's kind of above him again. Ooh, that's... That's ah. one of the things I'll have to watch out for. Yeah, if you try and get anywhere near it, you that one. Come here. Oh. He's just in. He is just refusing oh. to come to me. Yeah. He keeps getting in that mental bubble, Teleporting and then he'll. Yeah, and then he'll teleport. Alright. Finally got him contained again. Mental buff is off of him. And he's, yeah, he's get, got too close to fire. Oh, and he just. That's stunned. Oh, Come here. Me <laughs> I mean, as a healer, like, it's like I can't come on, come on, come on. I can't break out because my trinket's on cool now. And I swear there's lag on either my internet or this. It's the whole thing. Crap. Even if you're blocked before you can can't avoid Too close to fire. Come here. Mental's huge, ice is huge, they're all yep. huge. Yeah. The one with the fire pot in the middle. I know there's a dredge warrior over there with you guys.
Well, mental's big. Or, yeah, mental. Come here, big boy. Okay, walk slowly if you want to. <laughs> Glad I'm here, Trex. Alright, so I can see switching without mercy to Ragebringer to so go ahead and pull multiple ads to me. Gotcha. Come on, boss. We are moving a little faster. So the boss himself does nothing. He does nothing. He is only his only mechan his only little mechanics or whatever artifact he is in. So I've just followed Trex around the entire room and nothing's happened. I believe is in the fire. Rex, how much are you stacking your health? Define, because I'm not really crap. He's doing a special move. He is all up in fire. Yeah, he's in. Uh, cast powers frequently. Oh, I am spamming. <laughs> There's. N uh, <laughs> not. Your, your health bar is moving too quick for a rage tank. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I mean, I'm hardly, uh, I'm only blocking sometimes. Yeah. Um, Ugh. No, it's not the blocking, but the amount of ads in the room, no, your health should be stacking enormously. Alright. Alright, where is he at? <laughs> I see him. If only I can... Alright, I'm going to go to him right now. He's... We're going to start right here, buddy. You're not even... Darn it, how'd you get in there? Oh, get out of there. Ah. Ow. Stop interrupting me, you ass. Go on. I'd love to see your power bar dropping a lot more. Well, I mean, it's, I'm literally, it's all being spam. As soon as something comes off a cooldown, it's done. The only thing I'm really making sure oh, I'm timing okay. is, yeah. I mean. So what's, if you, if you don't mind me prying, what's your yeah. Uh, eviscerating chain, uh, oh, sorry. <clears throat> eviscerating chain, daily eruption, without mercy, severe punishment, ire, and ferocity. I think I might change out without mercy for Rage Bringer. See if see if that will you help need, pull his ads. You need another spammable power because um, the if all your powers on cooldown, if you're using longer cooldown powers, you're not able to stack your health enough. Because I'm not seeing your health, your power bar move low enough, and if you um, when you're stacking your health, you should be like at one third of your power most of the time, and your I think your health pool could be like double what it's at. Mm, not really sure what I could use then. Um, I would try Rage Bringer without mercy, violence, yeah. um, severe punishment, eviscerating chain, and then ire. It gives you three crowd control moves, no shield, your rage crash mechanic, and uh, one breakout. Oh, what was it again? Uh, 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 rage Bringer, eviscerating chain. Right. Violence, uh, whatever your rage mechanic power is, so severe punishment, um, eviscerating chain for your canceller, and then um, ire for your breakout and self heal. Okay. That way, um, oh, did I say violence? I meant violence in there too. Yeah, eviscerating chain, violence, rage bringer for severe punishments, iron ferocity. 
I may... What this uh, is going to give you is um, Rage Springer is your most spammable power, and every time you use power, you're going to um, get a health buff for every ad in the room. Oh, yeah. Um, your health... Yeah, and it's... It, <laughs> I'm going to use this loadout and see how it goes. I may uh, take out one of my breakouts and put Rage Blast so I can have that single target taunt. Okay. I'm going to use yeah, the... Use something that's more spammable. Yeah. Yeah, because without Mercy, it's actually... It'll, it'll stack with however many enemies it comes in, but Ragebringer does not do that. But Ragebringer just needs for the pools. It's all I need for the pools. So if we'll help out all right, the everybody well, else. Ragebringer will also stack your health because any power you cast stacks your health. On on here again. Oh, it changes your stance and everything. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. what stance does it put you in? Oh, your dance. No, everything. Like I'm supposed to be the flirty stance. Uh, give oh, me, uh, okay. give me one second. Just, uh, just did powerful. <laughs> Milky, Milky Mike. Um, if I am an ass stupid tank, I want to go ahead and see you come in here. Go ahead and get your legendary on, come into the game, come into test, and go ahead and get on this yourself. That's all I can really say to you. Because this is the loadout I use on my tanking. On your live stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting troll on my live stream because, I mean, I the loadout I use besides, actually I don't even use Eviscerating Chain. I actually use Outrage. And I have tanked plenty yeah. of times. This isn't I'm channeling my inner yens. <laughs> Well, no, it's not been finishable up until a recent patch. Yeah, no, I finished yeah. it. I've never, I haven't been in since before the, before it broke, so. Oh, no. Yeah. Yep. This is that whole bit of we're solving the puzzle for you. Exactly. Because you know, my first run through lockdown. We spent a lot of time in there learning the puzzle. My second run, I taught everyone the puzzle, and it was just a lot easier. So, suck it. Don't worry, I got mods. That's what they. That's what. That's what they got. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and move on. So. Let's see, so we got the loadout. Uh, did anyone else notice anything about this? No. no. You can hit him anytime. Oh. It's the one you hit the third one that it starts. So this time I have anomaly on. I'm gonna try and hold up some of these pad a little bit and see if that helps. Here we go. 
So, Trex, the problem I'm having is your health is not stacking, and you're, I'm healing you like I'm healing a regular player, like a TPS. I mean, I got nothing. <laughs> He's not yet. The moment you spammed powers from that five second range there, your health stopped fluctuating. Yeah, it's also messing up my timing. <laughs> oh, too close. No, your health isn't fluctuating because of rage crash. No, no, it's my timing for uh for my eviscerating chain, so I make sure I don't rage crash. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, but Sorry, moving. Oh, I am caught. There. Oh, man, these camera angles are harsh. He just refuses to come over to me. All right, not moving a freaking step. <laughs>
Come on, buddy. Move with me, move with me. Whew, thank God he lunged. Them. All right. Um. All right. He is definitely in the black, but it's not activated. All right. Got him out. Come on, buddy. We need to walk. We need to walk. Have we seen pretty much what he does in ice yet? It's uh, ice, mental, and fire, right? I'm not sure this one right here is ice. Yeah, that wind tunnel one. Come on, he's not moving. Oh, he has it. <laughs> oh, it's he pulls. All right, fine. Give me a sec. Let me grab him. Yeah, and it shields him. Alright, we, now we need to move. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, buddy, come on. Hope he's doing it again. I got Alright, I can see the aura now, thankfully. Holy crap, that was it. Oh. Wow. Jeez. Whew. Ooh, I got boots. And a staff from earlier, apparently. Let's put them on. He <laughs> he. I got toes. <laughs> oh, 
All right. So, after raid powwow, what did we learn? <laughs> We learned that these guys health regen after dying. Uh. So apparently Rage Tank can do kiting, apparently. <laughs> so one, of the, one of the things I've always had trouble with as a Rage Tank was always trying to kite, but... Yes, uh, you guys can't see it, see chat, but uh, but in chat for the guys of the stream, uh, Radham c puts out paying attention to the previous room artifacts is a must, and he is correct because this boss used the other the two other artifacts from the other rooms, and he's able to use them if he gets into those nice little bubbles. So kiting is a must. Sorry, Barb. What? It's all avoidable. Yeah, if you kite, like you said. Actually, we can't... So one of the issues is we can't let you in, and uh, we can't leave this area. All we can do is leave the entire instance. Yeah, if you want to go back and... Explore collections and briefings... <laughs> So how do we feel about the difficulty of the raid itself? Three, I mean, the raid had three bosses. I like it. I like it the way it is. Don't change yeah. it. I mean, you have to be smart. We had to figure that out. You, know, you saw how many times we wiped. We didn't know what was going on, but we figured it out. It didn't have to be too smart. Exactly. It's just little yeah. things that you got to do. Just like I said, if you watch the Hunger Games movie that Trex was in, you saw the giant clock and... <laughs> it's oh. a giant clock. <laughs> so there's an achievement uh, for this room that you might want to actually look at real quick, Trex. Yeah, I saw you just popping up with achievements. What did you do? No, I was, I was trying to go down to the achievements for this specific fight. So, uh, go down to an achievement called Hitting for the Sight. Sorry, one sec. You were loud, so I had to set your voice volume to a different octable, uh, audible, or decibel. Yeah, it just went, like, super loud. <laughs> okay, so, you say go to my feats? Go to your feats, go down to Halls of Power Part 1, and read, uh, I think it's called Hitting for the Cycle. That's specifically this fight. Hitting for the cycle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Oh! Okay, so defeat Halver the Brutal in the Necropolis, blah, 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 raid. After he has absorbed the follow... Oh my gosh. Oh, you want him to absorb all the things? Well, so... Hitting for the cycle in baseball means you get a single, double, triple home run. You get one of each. But yeah. hitting for the cycle here means you let him absorb one artifact in one run. You let him absorb two artifacts in another run. You let him absorb three artifacts in a third run. Following combination. Oh, so it's a recipe. Right, you're going to have so to run it at one. least four triple, times. We get the triple enhancement out of that. Yeah. So I think technically we did the hardest possible. No. No, I, 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 I want to say the hardest is going to be the no enhancements. Yeah, the hardest is going to be no enhancements. Yeah. Probably yeah. one or two. I, I'm going to have to go with Bob, because now I'm trying to figure out how we would do the single and the double, and it would basically be, it's like, all right, he has fire. He had the fire buff. That's his one enhancement. Everyone else, let's make sure he doesn't hit anymore. So. So we let, pretty much I think it's a DPS race, so as... So, as the artifacts spin in a circle, um, you're going to let the artifacts pass by him and through him? So we let no. all three pass through him? No, he passes through the artifacts, so to absorb yeah. only one, you essentially have to tank him 
on that one, regardless of how devastating it will be. Because if he moves to another one, he'll absorb that too. Well, yep. the nil, the nil can be done without it being a DPS race. If Trex had kept him perfectly in between, mm -hmm. and until the end there, he pretty much did. Yeah. He would yeah. never be able to absorb either one because he's never in one to absorb it. Yeah, you can keep that the entire time. I have failed you. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> He's back at full health. Let's do it. I'm not. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> And you know, that feat is only 25 points. That's, uh, mm -hmm. I feel that needs to be a 50. Why? I mean, just going through it just now, it's like trying, and also doing all the other three as well, that's difficult. I don't know, to um, me, to me, the 25 doesn't feel. I mean, I think after we learn how this, the mechanics of this fight work, I think we can do it. True. If it was a ten, I'd say make it two. <laughs> yes. So what's this? Recover the powerful artifact from the uh, powerful rock from the raid in seven minutes or less. That's a ways down the road. Wait, we have a speed feat? <laughs> Holy crap. But all right, uh, any other uh, notions to bring up for this raid? Because, I, I mean, I, I'm like y'all. This was actually really, really fun. And I have to say, it went by pretty fast. Even with the wipes. There's a message from Oracle at the beginning. She's like, she tells about the artifacts. And I think... I'm not sure if it was this one, maybe they fixed it, but um, I heard the message before, like the first, I mean it came after the first boss fight, like after the fact about the artifact weapon. Okay. But they might have fixed it. It seems like the message that our Oracle gives you about the artifact weapon should come like Like everybody dropped out of the voice chat. Did they? No, I'm here. Right, but I have four people now without a mic. Uh, I actually yeah, have. I'm still in the instance because there's an instance chat tab that you get thrown into when you're running. Then you're back in the group tab when you get denied out of the. He's a oh PS4 God, player. The dumbest thing ever. He's a PS4 player. He knows. I was gonna say the biggest thing. I never understood was why you dropped out of a group chat tab when you're already there if you're queuing for something. I can understand queuing with less than an already group, but now I think that's where that proximity chat is going to help, and I think the instance chat needs to be just removed. The, if you're enabled in proximity in a group already, there's no need to be transferring tabs again back out to an instance chat because you're going to have everybody in your group array already in proximity to you when you're in it. And it's just for those who choose to turn it on and off. Especially if those two um, tabs have like spring settings. Yeah, and they do mess with it too, sometimes. Um, we've had people that get glitched out just going to main tabs on Bluetooth devices. And the only ones that actually don't ever have a problem are USD plugin to their PS4. Like me, I've got to have my headset plugged into my, my actual controller for PS4. And it works good that way. But if I, Bluetooth, if I had one of those, and I've had multiple people that have been having a high squealing pitch, then end up happening when they switch tabs. So I have I'd, to make sure that it's off before they switch tabs. I'd prefer that it not automatically switch tabs for us, but I could see like some people who would probably need that feature. Oh, yeah. I didn't switch tabs. But you yeah. shouldn't have well, to switch then, tabs if you're free made, you know? Yeah. 
and that's the other thing is if you're in a full group already, you know you're in, you know, you're four people for your group, you're eight people for your raid. It should be able to know that. If you're already that and you're queuing for something, then no, no need to create an instance chat. If it, you know, yeah, if you're queuing one short and you end up getting an extra person, I can see maybe doing that, but it almost easier to throw that extra person into your group tab than to recreate a whole new instance chat and throw everybody into it. You know, we're from the least to the most, not most to the everything new. So basically, you would like to have group chat overriding an instance chat, like we just like the issue that we just had. Yeah, everything just needs to stay in group when it transfers. If you go into any instant run, it just stays in group. Everything just stays there. Okay, well. I want to thank all you guys for running with me and uh, showing this raid off and talking, and especially giving me great stuff about voice chat. That was, thank you all so much. And and thank you for the learning lesson uh, for my uh, for my rage loadout, because even I had to change it for uh, survival mode. Even I had to change it there as well, because outrage was not doing it. I needed more pools, so I used this raid and chain. Okay. <laughs> nobody would tell you to spam power. Exactly, that's the weird thing. <laughs> you know, with the rage tank, every time you use power, you get powers like 1.2.2 dawn or something times each ad. Yeah. Some crazy thing, and the more ads in the room, the more health you get. Um, so it's well, that's, the less you have worry, have to worry about getting those counters and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I always, I treated it like with fire and really used the one ability, use your one's abilities and you're done, but using Ragebringer, but with Rage Tanking apparently it's with the spamming you increase it more, not just use the one's power and you're done. If you were still playing fire, you would have to get those counters, but with Rage, since it has the mechanic where it, it just, the sky's the limit as far as your health goes, so. Yeah, so the more I you spam your exactly. powers in your counter health bar will look low because it's really, really, really high. And, um... Yeah, a heal will do, like, very out, little. Uh, you know, like, your health bar throughout, like, 90% of that last fight um, was moving in, like, it would in that 2-4 to four second window between rage crash and, or rage cancel and, you know, being able to activate the rage mechanic again. There's a 4 second window where your health is really going to fluctuate it was fluctuating like that throughout the entire bit, um, so and it was really, really hard for us to keep you alive through that, and that's where um, you move away from the concept of fire and just start spamming Ragebringer over and over, <laughs> and over again, so long as you have power, and so long as you have power for you break out and your canceler, you're spamming other powers to keep your health stacked, and then it's essentially why bother healing you. It's amazing. Yeah. I think the funny thing, too, is when you see a Rage player and their health is way up there, and you're looking at their bars, and they're like maybe at 60% health, and you throw a heal in, you know, you just do like an instant heal power, and you just see their bar go up a little bit. You're like, wait a minute, there was a crit for like 6,000 there, and it didn't move. Right. So. And that's when I stopped trying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that, so it's, there, it's, there. it's when they're in that window where it's bouncing that I actually care, but other than that, I just don't even try. <laughs> Well, this is going to end it for the stream. Once again, I want to thank Aiden Warren, Michael Grid, Heart of Sky, Vagrant Rage, Farmer Bob, Cypher, and Radium for joining me on the stream and for the run. Uh, you guys were fantastic. Fantastic, folks. Uh, Twitch, give them a round of applause. Even though we can't hear it, we know it's happening. Yeah, just kill all the micros in the air. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. All right.